Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Hangouts with me, John Fay 2, your host. I am now going to talk about the Han Solo movie and what I think about it and all the drama behind it. Now, if you don't know, The Last Jedi is one of the most diverged of the Star Wars movies that has ever been. You've got the good, you've got the bad, you've got the ugly. Um, this movie is one of the most mixed commented movies I have ever seen and now this movie coming out which is called um, Solo a Star Wars Story is one of the most not wanted movies I have ever seen all it's going to do is show Han Solo meeting up Chewbacca him getting the most from the Millennium Falcon I can't say it, Millennium Falcon and it won't be the original cast it'll be a brand new cast new characters, new everything for one movie. The difference with Rogue One is it was completely a different artly story. You wouldn't have to look. It has a Death Star. It has Darth Vader. That was about it. And it has, um, what's his name, Balagana. But that's about it. And you knew, you knew most of the stuff. But the problem I got with this is that a lot of background stuff you would have to look at as well. You would have to look at the books. You have to look through the comics and all that. I don't look through the books, and that's the reason a lot of the reason why I didn't like The Last Jedi. Because you have to look through the books, you have to go through all the comic, you know, you have to do all the research before you actually enjoy the film. And then, even when you do that, you might not enjoy the film because you're like, well, what I've seen on TV and television doesn't show me why I should like the film. So, what I think will be in this film is Han Solo will meet Chewie, which will be, he will be slave, you know, a slave. Chewie will be a slave. Um, he will free Chewie. He will find the men and the Falcon, which is a bit adapted. He will have a love interest in that girl, Emily Clark, which, yeah, it's a bit crap, but what are you going to do? Um, which we don't, I don't, I know he, he he's a bit of that sort of man, you know, gets all the women, but. I'm not really interested in that, you know, he's only going to be interested in this woman for one movie and she's going to die or something like that, or she ain't going to be there. So, that's it. She's either going to be a superhero and save everyone, or she's not going to be there. Now, will Dark Vader be in this movie? I hope not. I hope not. I really, really don't think Dark Vader needs to be in this movie just to make this movie good. Now, I think the film should be either Bob the Fett And Jabba the Hutt, or just Jabba the Hutt, and him sending out a different bounty hunter. Now, if these things aren't met, I will be disappointed, but I won't be shocked. It will be a different storyline, different monsters, different people. I'd be happy with that too. Make it different, make it new. Don't make it that you have to read the books, read the stories of that, because I don't do all that. All I do is watch the TV um, versions, cartoons and um, watch the movies. I'm not into that. Last Jedi, you'd have to watch half the things because you didn't know that Leia, if you don't watch Last Jedi, don't watch this bit of the video, skip it, five, ten minutes. Leia actually has the Force. She can use the Force. She can use the Force. Well, she did. Everyone has the Force, but she can use the Force. Now, if I didn't watch that, I didn't know that, that would be a good reason why I'm not happy about this film. But this Han Solo movie, I hope won't be like that, which you have to read half the books and half the comics to actually know what's going on. Oh, you're not a true Star Wars fan. I'm not into that side of the Star Wars saga. Half it's non-canon and half it is canon. And half it that's non-canon will be turned into canon. So I'm going to have to read the non-canon stuff to know what's going on in canon as well. And then read the canon stuff as well. It's just ridiculous. I don't want to keep doing that, going round and round in circles. Until I don't know what the hell's going on. The sun's got a little guitar outside my house. I can hear it right now. Um, that's going to be in the end of the video, guys. Because that's starting up now. But I don't think there's a need for Han Solo movie. And I think that's why there's a lot of people not interested in it. And that's why there's a lot of people not interested in Yoda movie for. Because Yoda's not been in Star Wars. You know, he was on his own for a long time. He had to do something. And Obi-Wan had to do something. And Boba Fett wasn't there. And Jabba wasn't there. And then Snoke. Then Anakin. What did Darth Vader do? We have all these bloody movie sagas. Why don't we just focus on the main saga or get a rebel one 
or get a Clone Wars one. Well, we've had a Clone Wars one. See, we've got all these bloody movies which we don't need or animated things. That's the end video, guys. That's the, my thoughts of it. I think the two guys from the um, um, canteen area, the alien guys, will be in it too. That's the end of the video, guys. Anyway, the video, anyways. Thanks for watching. Remember, please like, comment, subscribe. And see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. And goodbye for now. And also, thanks for the new subscribers I've had recently. Very thankful for that. And goodbye for now. Bye-bye.